hey, do you guys remember computer games from the 2000s? I'm not talking like PC games like Half-Life 2 or Crisis. I mean computer games. Like the crummy ones at your grandma's house because the computer there wasn't powerful enough to play anything even close to Half-Life 2. Just kind of those games you buy in the bargain bin at Walmart or Kmart because that used to exist back when these games were around. I certainly remember them because I played a lot of those. Um, one of my favorites has got to be Hunting Unlimited. So Hunting Unlimited, name's pretty self-explanatory. It's a hunting game. It came out in 2001 and it's essentially a shovelware type of game. It was published by ValueSoft and the games they publish are... They're the shovelware games. But apparently they made a whole series going till nearly 2010 with these games. I didn't know that until a couple years ago when I found a copy of the second game at Goodwill because that's pretty much the only place you can find these games anymore. But, but for some reason, some reason, a publishing company called Ziggurat Games picked the games up, all of them, and you can buy the entire series on Steam. Which is really strange, and it doesn't work that well because they're really old games and they didn't update them or like make them stable. So sometimes they just break. And so I guess that's what we'll take a look at today. We'll take a look at Hunting Unlimited. Of course, being a game from the 2000s, the instant you open it, you get a nice settings menu before you get into the game. And of course, since there's no sound options, the instant the game boots up, you get some absolutely rocking music, along with your title screen, and with all your options. Play, target range, hunter, best scores, animal database, options, help, credits, website, and of course, the exit button. After pressing the play button, you get all your missions that you can play with all the different kinds of animals. Oh my goodness. So many things to choose from. Speaking of animals, you got the white-tailed deer, mule deer, elk, moose, and grizzly bear. There's also a bunch of different weapons. Here they all are. As for the missions, some of them can go like this. Right. And you're done. Good job. But a lot of them go a little bit differently. You don't drop the deer instantly. So you have to chase it. Making use of the state-of-the-art blood trail system. At least the game tells you it's dead. Good job. Sometimes the missions have an interesting twist. Like a super long shot. or a moose chasing after you. Make sure you don't miss. You might even have two of them chasing after you. Good work. And you might even have an entire sleuth of bears coming after you. This just shows how bad I am at the game. I don't know how I haven't died. And all that for a pat on the back. Overall, in my opinion, I think the game's pretty good. I enjoy it, and probably part of my enjoyment comes from just being nostalgic about it, because this is the game that I played quite a lot when I was younger, because I'd be at my grandparents' house a lot, and this was pretty much the only game, one of the only games that we had that wasn't like a mystery object search and find type of game. So this was a whole different kind of game than just a find the objects but 
obviously having it on Steam, you can tell that there are issues. When I was recording all the gameplay footage, I literally had to have it in a 720p window and then like stretch it out to 1080p in OBS because having it in full screen 1080p broke it. But anyways, I'll leave you guys off with the credits. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.